Hi friends, you caught me here editing, but I do want to take a moment before we get started on the Worship on Wheels to just ask you if you would pray for the Smyrna Cowboy. Uh, if you're not a uh, subscriber of the Smyrna Cowboy, make sure you go over to his channel and subscribe to his channel and let him know that you're praying for him and that you care about him. He was involved in a pretty serious accident here recently, not at liberty to talk too much about other than he uh, sustained a compound fracture and some pretty serious burns and other injuries. If you would pray for the Smyrna Cowboy, I sure would appreciate it, and I know he would too. Now, on with Worship on Wheels. Hello friends, Coach Bob with you, and today we are gonna be doing Worship on Wheels. I believe this is number 21. Lucky 21. We're going to talk about something, you know. I just got a message from my mother. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Look at that. That was sweet. She was thanking me for coming over yesterday. She was a little depressed yesterday. I don't mean like chronic depression. I mean just, just down in the dumps. Don't you hate it when you feel down in the dumps and you just can't get it all, all together? It doesn't really have to be a reason for it either. You can just feel that way. <laughs> yeah, I love my mom. She's awesome. And little messages like that where she says, hey, I'm sorry I was a downer, means the world to me because she knows that I really do try to make her happy. I really want her to be happy. But this week, we're going to talk about Matthew 5, 7. Um, and for those who are Bible people, Bible people, um, you'll know that this is a section of the Bible called the Beatitudes. It's where Jesus is given a little sermon, and it's a, it's a very well-known sermon. But verse number seven, it says, Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. You know, in a world where everyone wants to be angry and everyone wants to win at any cost, is it really worth it? Is it worth it just to say, I gotcha? I think that's what most people think. You know, how many times, and, and you know, and then there's there's going to be the thing, and I know I'm going to get a lot of comments down below, because whenever I do these types of videos, I do get these comments. Here's the comment. Well, I gave someone mercy, and they walked all over me. I gave someone mercy, and they continued to treat me like garbage. I gave someone mercy, and they did this, or they did that. I'm not going to tell you that the... The family member, and it normally happens more with family members. Let's just be honest. It, it, it normally happens more with family members than other people. You know that that niece, that nephew, that uncle, that aunt, that cousin, whatever. That, or maybe even a sibling that that said something to you that hurt your feelings, and you don't want to be merciful. What you want to do is, man, you want to you want to strike back, right? You want to strike back, and you want to get them. as opposed to giving mercy, extending a hand of grace, and exposing yourself to being hurt again. So in response to the comments, are you going to get beat up again? You are. You are. But the concept of when you give mercy, you get mercy. The mercy that we receive from God is completely different than the mercy that we receive from man. And it is also a lot more powerful. You can feel a lot better about yourself. You can feel a lot better about things even when someone is relentless and you keep extending that hand of mercy and grace to them. Man, to not strike back, that's hard, man. It's hard. You know, I had a friend years ago, he said some things to me, hurt my feelings pretty bad, really did. And, and then what I did, in a fit of rage, I said some cruel things. I said cruel things. Now, I'm not gonna lie, everything I said was true, but it was cruel nonetheless. And he drew first blood, and I, I honestly, I, I felt, I felt justified. I felt justified then, I certainly did. I certainly felt justified then. And even for a year or two, I felt justified. And in my brain, I kept saying, one day, one day, 
he'll give me a call and he'll say, Bob, I'm sorry. A year went by, two years went by. I never got the call. I never got it. This guy and me were in bands for a long time. And we're good friends. We went through hard times together. He loved me and he loved my wife. He's a good guy. And because of me not extending a hand of mercy, the damage was done. I wish the story had a happy ending because uh, that would make it all feel a little better, wouldn't it? It really doesn't. You know, later on, after two years or so, I called him. I begged him, I begged him to forgive me. I told him that I said things that were hurtful and that I was sorry. And he said he did. But apparently not. Because after all of this time, yeah, we're Facebook friends. He won't call me. He won't talk to me. All because I was unwilling to be merciful. You can call it justified if you want to. But do I really want justice for everything I've ever done wrong in my life? Or do I want mercy extended in my direction? So my friends, as we embark on this journey, this crazy world of life, when people say hurtful things, when the internet is full of venom and hatred, when people just are ugly as they can be, remember, blessed are the merciful, because they'll receive mercy. I hope this little message resonated with you. It certainly did with me. In fact, uh, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to call this friend of mine today. I'm going to ask him to forgive me again. <laughs> Look at him going around me. I'm doing uh, six miles over speed limit, and he passed me on a double solid. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, God bless him. I hope he gets there safe. He's probably going to work. But I'm going to call this friend of mine and I'm going to apologize again. And if you ask me, Bob, how many times are you willing to apologize? As many times as it takes. I miss him. He's my friend. All right. <laughs> well, know this, y'all. You are loved and so am I. And that is great news, isn't it? <laughs> Do me a favor. Go out. Change the world. We'll see you on the road real soon.